Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this is a 191 feature thing. Um, so you can use the tri planner materials to create such um, yeah, a plush, fur, or fluffy thing here on, on your um, creatures. Okay, so first you need here a texture. So search for an image, a noise dot texture, a free one. So you can download something like this with a lot of dots. So and press and save it to the camera roll or to your photo library. And yeah, let's use this one and see what happens. Okay. So Nomad Sculpt, so here's my frog and yeah, it's uh, such a spiky grass looking um, fluffy thing and um, you can play with it a little bit. So let's try it in a new scene. So, okay, so let's create the material. So. Here are the materials in the in the painting slot. So I press on this one. We have to wait a few seconds. So now the materials appear. So do, 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 I need my new folder. So I select other material and set new. And then I rename it as I noise dot four. Okay. So we need here the the texture in the alpha slot of the brush here, and I press on the texture on the other texture here, and here I say import. So I pick now in the photo library this dot pattern here. So we, now you see it's um, a white background with black dots but we need um, so um, white dots black background so more like this here so I use invert pixels. So set the thing here to try planner repeat, repeat, or mirror, mirror, it also works. And the color slots I'm not using at the moment. So you see here um, on the preview cube, so what happens to the whole thing here. So let's see uh, when, we, when you press paint all, so this happens here not very much so we need more intensity so it gets a little bit more spiky and more intensity so this looks fine okay so the next thing is here the scaling factor so we can scale it a little bit maybe to two and try it again. So more spikes and undo. So and with scaling of three, maybe so. Okay. So the next thing is here the poly count. It's very important. So when you use a higher poly count, multi resolution, so I subdivide it again, and when you press paint all, uh, you get much more uh, fluffy hair here. So like this. 
Okay, so let's test it on our object. So I delete this and I'm adding um, other thing. So what, what, what can we use here? So I use the frog again. So here's my frog. Okay, so the poly count for the frog is at the moment 170,000. Um, so I subdivided once and twice. So now we have 2 million, um, 2.8 million vertices. So I'm sure I want this. So, and now I use the side view here. Come on. And the cell mask tool here and mask the head to protect um, the head a little bit. So I blur, blur it a little bit. And then back to my tool, I check here the, the texture noise dot four. So and I press paint all. So <laughs> now it looks like this is too much. So I reduce, um, decrease the intensity. So let's see what happens. So like this. So it's okay. So, and for this mesh, we need um, other scaling. So maybe this, try it again. So now I activate the color. So I let's see um, the whole thing with a green color. Paint all. So and I change the whole thing to subsurface and maybe play a little bit here with the sliders. So, okay. Yeah, I want to clear the mask. So this is how it looks like. So let's let's see the whole thing with a little bit of light and maybe with post process on. So this is a the effect you get. Okay. So a nice thing here at the end. Um, so I add a sphere, validate the sphere, and I'm using a little bit more topology subdivided like this. And where's my brush tool? So paint all. So without color. A little bit, not so much. So I use more subdivisions. So this is nice. So, and you can create such a warmy thing. So when you add now um, a curve repeater, set the material, sorry, I have to change to the thing here, subsurface and now back to the curve repeater. So
So you can create here such fluffy things here. But be careful with the validating here uh, because here the scene vertices are when you press here. Um, so join children here. You see here four point three million vertices um, uh, for the mesh. So it could crash no mod when you use too much um, single instances. So yeah. This is a nice thing here to <laughs> So it looks really fluffy. Yeah, that's it. Have fun with it and ciao.